For some of us scientists at the National Museum of Natural History, field work can mean trekking far into the jungle. For others, Got it. the journey is a little closer to home. We probe the depths of the ocean and work in the rain for us, or in the dry hill country, bringing the long buried past to light. For over a century, we've traveled the globe to understand the biological, geological, and human world we live in. Collecting artifacts or specimens for scientific study is the key. About 80% of what I'm getting out of the canopy is new to science and is undescribed. Increasingly, we're in a race against time and the impact of the modern world. I feel like we're now the last generation of people who can learn from people like this. We've never seen a living giant squid because we've never been able ourselves to get into their natural habitat. With new technology, we can go places we've never been before to study and learn. Okay, Jettison system. These animals live in the last frontier. We know where curiosity, inquiry, and persistence can lead to discovery. And at that moment, my colleague said, look at that owlet in that tree. And I dropped my water bottle and looked. And I immediately, we all knew that it was, that it was the uh, bird we were looking for. With our planet over four billion years old and evolving every day, there are still a lot of questions to answer. Each time we get a specimen, each time we have an observation, we learn a little bit more, and that's, that's really what's exciting for us. 